Hey guys, Joe Stevenson here, working on lesson plan 12, me and my friend John. Sorry, one second. <laughs> um, we're, hey, we're supposed to be working. We're gonna be going over the Peruvian necktie from front headlock and an arm bar from that position. Both really good. I think Tony D'Souza was really good at this Peruvian necktie originally. Um, one of, super good at it. Anyways, front headlock, controlling the chin, shoulder here, pulling up on the arm. Now, as I'm in this position, they may be pulling the arm back, and at that point, I'm going to go to an S grip, or I can grab a gable grip, depending upon how you feel comfortable, guys, with your hands. Here and here, here and here. He's pulling the arm back, let him go, lock your hands. So he's pulling the arm back, lock, let it go, lock your hands. Step up to the armpit with your outside leg. Transfer your weight to this outside leg. Loosen your right hip and throw your right leg over your partner's head as you pivot perpendicularly. Your foot is going to lace the armpit and you're going to fall back to your outside hip. As your free leg comes up, and around their back. You kick down with the leg over the head and you lean back. <clears throat> so let's see it this way, sir. Same position, Peruvian necktie. Here and hit. He pulls you on back. I go to a loose grab. I step to the outside, transfer my weight, use my far leg to come over the head collapse my hip. As I do that, my foot hooks his armpit and I throw my leg over the back, compressing down. So, one more time. I want them to turn it this way, sir. I want them to see me hooking your armpit. Front headlock position, pulls it back, lock my hand, step to the outside, transfer my weight, to that leg, step over the head. My foot hooks his armpit as I fall to my hip and my leg comes over the back. I'm gonna kick down with my leg as I pull up with my hands, shooting my hips up. My lock is under his chin. Sometimes I gain weight when I'm not in competition, but then I want to roll with my friends, and then I want to still get this move, but my stomach, it doesn't let me. Like when you try to, like you gain weight and you try to tie your shoelaces oh. and you can't. Anyways, <laughs> so we're gonna go over a modified version where I just step over his leg. Here and here, drive, Bring the leg over the head, and I'm not able to throw this leg over, but I'll hook his leg here. Often they'll try to flip, and this will prevent him from flipping. And now, as you can see, I kick down like I'm trying to start a motorcycle with my leg, and lean back here and here. So, if you've gained a little winter weight, you may just step over the leg too. Because really, you're trying to prevent them to flip over. Something that may happen here is they may try to spin out. If they go to spin out, most of the time because you put your foot in the armpit, you're going to be able to go for the armbar. So once again, here and here, front headlock, step, step. As I collapse, I'm over, he starts to try to spin out. This foot will pass this arm to my arm. That will put the palm to my chest, pinch with my legs, hip up. So once again, I'm gonna apply that arm bar, get the palm to the chest, keep it flat, shoot my hips up, pinch with my legs, curl the leg that's over the head, um, make it as tight as possible. Here again, here and here, gonna step 
to the outside, boom, over the top. I'm trying to get the finish, he's trying to spin out. To the arm, hook the arm, palm to your chest, pinch, shoot your hips up, curl the leg over the head, and finish. The reason you hook the foot in the armpit, guys, just so you know, isn't just to set up the arm bar, but watch this. The defense to this position, if I'm in a locked position, nice and perfect, is him taking you that free hand, pulling it off. But we're gonna go over a whole series next week.